In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to do the silver badge tasks for Lesson 5 of the PIC license. Let's have a quick look at what those challenges are. So the first one, here they are, there are seven different challenges to do. The first three are required for the silver badge, the second two for gold, the net final two for the platinum. The first one we're going to look at is the metronome. So the metronome says every second the LED must flash on and off for 0.1 of a second to help a pianist keep time while practicing. Okay, so let's fire up a circuit wizard. Uh, let's start a new file. And we always pick the first from the second group, so it's going to be circuit wizard with the genie flow chart. And we're going to go to the flow chart, and we're going to do them in here. Okay, so let's have a look. So what do we need to do? We need the LEDs to flash on and off. So let's first of all let's switch all the LEDs on. Then we're going to do a wait. We're going to switch all the LEDs off. Another wait. Okay, so let's connect that up and see how that goes. So let's connect those up to there. Uh, I need to double click on the output box. I'm just going to double click there and make sure I switch them all on. So the green one is to actually switch on the LEDs. The weight, I want to say, is 0 0.1 of a second. The switching them off, let's make sure they're all red, so that's switching them off. And then on here, I want to say again, 0 0.1 of a second. Okay, so if I push play on there, okay, and let's look at the, the kind of view the digital inputs outputs here. Okay, you should see that they're going on and off and on and off. But that's, that's going at 0 0.1 of a second. I need a second gap between them, okay? So I need another weight in there. So I'm just going to bring that in there. Delete this line. Bring that to there. So it's got an extra weight. And again, background to there. So let's put one second into there. And let's push the play button. So now you can see it's going flash, flash, and then there's a long wait here. Flash, flash, and then a long wait. Okay. Now, obviously it would be nice to be able to look at the circuit diagram, but I've not actually got the circuit diagram on there. So what I'm going to quickly do is just bear with me a second. I'm just going to open up a previous one I've used. Let's use this one here. Okay, so here's the another file I've got. So let's look at the circuit diagram this time. Here we go, this is better. And from here, I'm gonna push play. And hopefully you should see, I'm going that quick flash, and there's a second, another quick flash, and then there's a second. What's quite nice to be able to do is on the um, right-hand side of this toolbar, there's a um, show the flowchart program window. If you click on there, you should actually be able to see what it's doing. So you can see that very, very quick flash and then the delay, very, very quick flash and then the delay. Okay. When I've done that and I'm happy with that flow chart, okay, I'm going to go File, Save As, call that Metronome, and save that. Okay. Now, what I need to do is make sure I've got evidence of that. So into the Word document, I'm going to write in here Week 5 of the... Um, Pick license and I'm going to say this is the metronome. Okay, so make sure you're, you're gathering the information as you go along. From the Word document, I'm going to go insert to screenshot, screen clipping, and then from here I can just draw around that and that'll put that straight into there for me. And obviously I've got, that's going to go in absolutely huge, so I can just sort of shrink that down until I'm happy that's gone in. Okay, let's look at what the next task. The next task is going to be disco light. So from here I'm going to say disco light. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, Circuit Wizard. And before I even start, I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to call this disco light. Disco lights. Okay. Why I'm keeping separate copies is that when I've finished actually making the license, I want to be able to plug that in and actually run all the different programs on there. Okay, so let's make this into a disco light. Okay, so let's, let's zoom out a little bit so I can see what's going on here. Now in the, the task, it says, let's have a look, the LEDs flash repeatedly in a pattern. 
Okay, so at the moment, as it is, it is flashing in a pattern. It's a little bit of a boring pattern. I can very quickly change that. So I could go into here and say, well, let's have the two end lights on and the middle one off there. And then when I go to here, let's have the middle one on. Okay, that would give me a bit of an alternating. I could change the time on there. So let's maybe like that 0.5 of a second, 0.5 of a second. And then I can maybe even get rid of this box here. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what that looks like. So if I just push play. Okay, so it's going, so there you go. I've got a very kind of simple kind of flashing light. Two on the outside, one in the middle, two on the outside, one in the middle. Okay, so it's very, very simple. Okay, just ad ad adapting that. You can see what I've done there. Okay, now obviously you can go a little bit more imagination on there. You can have different patterns. Um, if you're happy on how to use a subroutine, you could be use two or three different subroutines and actually having alternating between one set of patterns and another set of patterns and then another set of patterns, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Um, it also says for bonus marks, if it can change when the light level drops. Okay. Now this could be quite useful because it's going to be useful for the next challenge anyway. So let's bring that in. So I'm just going to move that down and I'm going to use, because it's do as light, and it's the um, the LDR, so I'm going to use the analog box. I'm just drag the analog box in, okay? And this is one we use for anything to do with light levels, okay? Because it's analog, it gives me a range of values from 0 to 255, so 256 different values. And I'm just going to say yes, okay? So if it's yes, it's going to go through here, okay? It's going to do something with the lights going on and off, okay? And if it's no, I'm going to bring it this way, and just make sure that all the lights are off, okay? I'm not sure here, when I'm going around this one, there will always be that middle light there will be on. So by just going this way and saying, just switch everything off, okay, I can kind of establish that then they're, they're definitely, if the light level's not right, everything's off. Okay, I'm just gonna bring that back to here. And I need to set put the settings on the analog, okay? Now, because it was dark, I'm just gonna grab the middle and drag that to sorry, grab the slider from the right and drag that into the middle. So it's about halfway through there, so about 130 or something like 135 in that ballpark. Okay, so it's going to be when it's dark, light goes off, it's going to do our little flashing pattern. Okay, when it's light, it, all the lights will go off and it will just sit there. Let's just double check that's worked. So into the circuit diagram, push play. Okay, so what I need to do here is this is how I change the light level. So if I left click on there, all right, so at the moment it's it's dark. So as you can see, the lights are flashing away quite happily. Okay, so what I wanna do is just check the other condition and bring that right all the way up to the top. Okay, so that's now in full brightness. And as you can see, the flow chart's going the other way. So all the lights are off, okay? Now there wasn't very much of a movement there between them kind of being dark and light. As you can see, look, it's, I'm nearly, all the way up to the top there before it actually switches off. Okay, so I'm up to kind of almost 90% if you like, or 900 out of a thousand. What I can do to make that a little bit more even is if I change this, this resistor here from 1K to 27K, that will actually give me a little a bit of better spread. So let's try again. Okay, so double click on there. Ooh. So it's playing, left click on there, Okay, and let's just see where we where this sort of switches off again. So we're still on sort of sixty percent, seventy percent. There you go. So that's that's come down to sort of eighty percent rather than about ninety percent. So it's made it a little bit better. Okay, so it's worth worth changing that just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so this this disco here will actually only work when it's dark. So if I just so. so Okay, so when it's dark, you can see it now runs through this pattern here. Okay, and when it's light, let's just put it all the way up to the top. Okay, it switches off. So it does, okay, as the bonus marks say, okay, it does respond to um, pattern changes when the light level drops. Okay, so, um, well, or, or does it? Let's have a look. Let's have a think. So does the pattern change? Will it be nicer? If instead of just switching off completely, the pattern did something different. So what I could do is I can actually get rid of that, copy and paste these, oh, try again, highlight them, and Control-C to copy, 
Control V to paste. Let's just park the next door to there. And get rid of this line here. And I'll drop that no into this one here. Okay. And then I'm going to have this going back around the way, up the way, and into there. Okay, so what I can do is I could change this so maybe it was a slower flash. Okay, or I could have it alternating so where that one was 1001, this one might go oh, uh, what would it be? 010, and then this one would need to be. like that okay but again we could change the timing of it as well we could make it just sort of one second and again let's see what see what that does so back to the circuit diagram push play okay so this is in the dark so it's flashing so the two the one okay oh and now it's changed the pattern it's going the other way around okay and you can see it's going the other way around so let's bring the light down the way and let's see what happens so this should flash a little bit quicker and there you go, you can see that. Okay, so that's that's kind of met the brief of the fact that the patterns are changing when the light level drops rather than just purely switching off. Okay, so I'm happy with that one. So I'm just going to go save again, make sure I'm saving it, calling it Disco Lights. Okay, into my Word document. Okay, and again, I'm just going to go Insert Screenshot Clipping. Draw around my flowchart. Okay, I'm not worried too much about the circuit diagram because the circuit diagram should be the same for everyone. It's the program that's going to vary. Okay, and again, I can just shrink that down and eventually it should just go onto the same side. Okay, and now I'm going to do the last one. So this is the uh, night light. Okay, which should, because we've done that bonus, should actually be very, very straightforward. Okay, so let's go back to the circuit wizard. Let's go file. Save as, and let's call this night light. Okay, I'll always save it to start with. All right, and then I've got another copy, so if I mess something up, I want to go back to the other one, doesn't matter. Okay, so this one, just purely, let's look at the actual brief. So it says, a child's night light, the LEDs come on when it gets a bit darker than the room you're in. Okay, so it's just going to literally just switch on. Okay, so uh, I need, I can get rid of all these boxes here. Okay, and it's always good with um, Circuit Wizard to put a weight in there because they can, these things can be circled kind of a, a thousand times a second. So by putting that weight in, it just slows it down a little bit, makes it a little bit smoother. So if it's dark, let's switch on all the lights. If it's uh, light, then I'm going to switch all the lights off. Okay, I'm just going to smooth that out by making that the same value as the other one. And let's just try that. So back to my circuit diagram. Let's always test. Push the start button. Okay, so um, it's dark. Okay, so all the lights are on. So as the lights go up and up and up and up, eventually we get to there and the lights have gone off. Okay, and again, I could bring that down and you'll see the lights come back on again. All right, so that's working quite nicely. The lights are going on and off depending on whether the room is dark or light. Okay, I'm just going to save that again. And back to my flow chart. I might just give this a little bit of a tidy up, just move those a little bit closer together. Okay, I might even move that across there if I wanted to. I wonder if that will make it look any neater or not. Uh, yes, into there. No, into there. And let's bring that across there. Okay. So I'm happy with that. As a, a child's night light, okay, that's uh, straightforward. Just using an analog decision to talk to the LDR to just switch that on and off. Okay, so finally, let's go back to my evidence. Insert back to screenshot, screen clipping, and just draw around. Okay, my flow chart that I've made in Circuit Wizard, and then if I want to, I can shrink that down a little bit. And then I'm happy 
with where I go. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you do the silver challenge. Uh, the silver challenge on your progress ladder is into the green zone, which the descriptor says something like with assistance, write programs to handle inputs into a PIC circuit. Obviously, if you do the next two, that would be into the blue zone, which is writing independently PIC programs. Okay, so please do have a go at doing the uh, gold that will get you into the blue zone and obviously if you go on to further to invent and refine and make your own things okay then that's the platinum badge those last two hope that's been useful for you